The UK is the biggest market in the world for offshore wind. We have about 40% of the total installed capacity. Back in 2012, there were, there were very few, if any, financial investors in the industry at all. So our offshore wind fund was really a response to, to, to fundamentally two things. The industry's need for additional capital, but also it was a response to a market, an investment market, that's always looking for new product new places for you know, to put capital to work and, and capital on a long-term basis. And we essentially intermediated those opportunities, created a vehicle that we manage that brings skills, expertise, experience, which is comfort for investors that someone's looking after their investment. And offshore wind is a big sector, but it's a specialist sector and it's a nascent sector. So we wanted to create a vehicle into which people could invest to access this when they didn't have the specialist skills to make those types of investments themselves. We did more than a hundred meetings, not just here in the UK, but all around the world to tell them about this, the world's first offshore wind fund, and to get them excited about the concept. We have uh, pension fund, insurance companies, uh, endowment funds, and actually sovereign wealth funds that are all investors within the offshore wind fund. I believe that there is a greater focus on infrastructure assets from pension funds at this moment in time. Because if you consider that when pension funds, including Strathclyde Pension Fund, matures, we're always looking to reduce our risk. And we do that by investing in our asset base with more long-term, stable investments. Why were we very keen to invest with the Green Investment Bank? We are convinced that they invest in the right infrastructure assets that will lead to a stronger and greener UK economy. And if you're a pension fund or an institutional investor, we can create a vehicle, a vehicle into which you can invest. You can see the sorts of returns and access that asset class. The world's first offshore wind fund.